not allowed to leave Valencia without trying this place. Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Rated V. I am in the city of Valencia, Spain, and today we're doing a vegan food crawl and walking tour of some must-see places in the city and some favorite places of the city that you can eat vegan food. Valencia is known as a coastal city, known for its city of arts and sciences. So you have modern, you have historical, they have hip neighborhoods. So let's go try some food. So I'm here at Cafe Madrigal. It's in the trendy neighborhood of Rusafa. The reason I'm here is because they serve an epic vegan tortilla española. For those of you that don't know, tortilla española typically has a lot of eggs, the traditional recipe. However, here they've mastered the texture and the flavor while maintaining it vegan. What they do instead of eggs is they use a chickpea flour mix that gives it that same texture, which means A, it's still packed with protein, and it's a good substitution for omelets, if you guys didn't know that. So the second thing that you gotta know is pan con tomates. Pan con tomate is basically freshly grated tomato, and they typically serve it with a toasted baguette. Put tomato on your bread, drizzle some olive oil, finish off with some salt. The good thing is with all those tomatoes, you get your lycopene intake, which is a really good antioxidant. And of course, you can't come to Spain and not have cafe con leche. Here they give you three types of plant-based milks. Mm. All right, so let's try some of this stuff. I'm gonna start with a bite of this because I just love it and it's the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. Now for my favorite. Mm. Honestly, the first time I ever tried this tortilla spaghetti, I was like, this is so legit. You would never know. You would absolutely never know that this was vegan. It's amazing. The onion flavor is there, it's great. Now the quiche, this is the first time I ever tried this. They make it with a chickpea flour mix and tofu to give it that texture and eggy consistency. That is very good, it's very flavorful. It has like mushrooms in it. The texture is great. Overall, you have to come here for your breakfast. Breakfast menu, which includes the pan con tomate, tortilla española, cafe con leche, all of that is three euros and 90 cents if you come before 1 p.m. So now we're headed to El Carmen, which is another cold neighborhood, but we're gonna see some sightseeing on the way, so let's go. So on your way to El Carmen, you're gonna stop by a place called Plaza de la Reina, and there's a lot of tourist spots, and one of the main attractions here, it's a churro spot, and it's a very traditional thing. Churros and chocolate are a must try. Cool thing is, the churros are always vegan because they make them with oil and water and dough. It's like a pat -a -shoe. And then the chocolate here, you can ask without milk. Pure chocolatey goodness. Look at that. Make sure you like chocolate because this is legit dark chocolate. I love it, so I'm, I'm happy right now. Now we're at the Central Market, or otherwise known as El Mercado Central. This is one of my favorite places. As you can see, there's stands everywhere. Produce, fresh from local farms. You gotta come here. So now we're in El Carmen, and one of the really good places and a favorite spot here is called Aloha Vegan Delights. One of my favorite things that I like about this place is that they'll make you fresh fruit and vegetable juices and they're only four euros. In the States, this will cost you 10. They make it right in the moment. You can see them grabbing the fruits and vegetables, making it, and then you get your daily dose of vitamins. The other good thing to know about this place, it's like a street food style. It's very casual dining. Both locations that they have, which is here in El Carmen and by El Mercado Central, are to go. The things to try though are like the kebab, they have acai bowls. Everything here is delicious. They have burgers, burritos, fries, chips, you name it. You want to try it, so make sure to stop by. So now I'm at Cambu, which is another local favorite. It's in El Carmen. 
and it's known as your fast food vegan spot because sometimes you crave that and you want it. As you can see, we have a feast. I love their sweet potato fries. They also have a plant-based burger here called Moving Mountain that was developed in the UK, so it's very popular in Europe. We don't have it in the US, so I have to try it. I mean, look at this. This is amazing. This is such a juicy vegan burger. Oh my gosh. That is so good. So the first time I came here, I took a friend here who was not vegan, and he tried that burger and he was like, this tastes like the real thing. It's carnivore approved, people. The other thing that we have here are, I love these. If you're familiar with my other Spain video, the first time I ever had vegan calamari was in Madrid. It's a popular Spanish food. They have it in a lot of pubs. These are made out of tapioca, and you serve it with an aioli. Comfort food to the max. All right, so this is another thing that was suggested to me. Look at this. This looks like real chicken. Well, it's a fried vegetables and a fried like seitan meat. Those crisp veggies taste so good. The texture of this is so good too. It's like spot on. This is a good place for people transitioning. Every once in a while, you kind of want that fast food kind of food. It's always good to eat healthy, but this is, this is vegan food that hits the spot comfort food as you can say. If you want to eat healthier though, they got salads people. <laughs> we have salad here with vegan Via Life cheese and a basil dressing. The reason they serve it in a tortilla bowl is because they pride themselves in not using plastic and these utensils are all compostable. Delicious vegan comfort food and eco-friendly environment. So you know I love dessert and here at Gambu they offer so many, like a huge variety. So the ones I chose are a lemon meringue because the meringue is made of aqua fava. The second is a pumpkin cheesecake. So two that, you know, would people would think it's difficult to make vegan, but it's not. Mm, so that's this meringue. I mean, look how it's sticking to the spoon. Legit meringue. Mm. Okay, now for the pumpkin cheesecake. Mm. If you're American and miss pumpkin pie, this is where you come. <laughs> Now I'm here at Empanadas. This is a place you have to try. You're not allowed to leave Valencia without trying this place. They have two locations. If you're already in Del Carmen, in that trendy area, they have a location there, not far from all the other places that we've seen in the video already. This location is in Calle de la Cuenca, which is closer to the Angel Guimera metro stop. So literally you take to that metro and you walk here and you're here. It's owned by an Argentine family, so you know the recipe is authentic and legit. The reason they started making vegan empanadas is because they noticed many tourists or people visiting were constantly asking, do you have a vegan option? And they thought that was important. If anybody knows anything about Argentinian culture, they're serious about me, okay? But they were like, we don't care. We think it's important that people have a vegan option. So took it upon themselves to make not only one vegan option, but they have a variety of vegan options like soy curry, mushroom and seitan, tofu wakame, like unique flavors that you really won't find everywhere else here in Valencia. You guys need to try them. The empanadas are made from scratch. Everything is casera, including this salsa you have to eat with your empanadas. It's similar to chimichurri and it's family owned, exclusive to here. So now we're gonna try the two vegan options that they have here today. This is the seitan and mushroom, and this is the soya curry. Look at the inside of this. So good, so meaty. They're hearty vegan empanadas. Seasoning on this, is spot on. For people who are looking for that meaty texture, this is perfect. The mushrooms and the seitan complement that very well. There's people here that come by who are not vegan and they're like, oh, we'll take some of the vegan options because they just like them a lot. They're just so flavorful. So next is the soya curry. So good. I love this because it has a sweet flavor. Savory at the same time. Curry flavor really complement it. Here, the fact that it's authentic Argentine empanadas with a nice vegan twist. This is gonna be your favorite spot. Not to mention, they have three different vegan cake options. This one's carrot, but they also have chocolate and red velvet. Mm. 
Well, that's a wrap, friends. I hope you enjoyed the video and you can see there's a lot of places to check out here in Valencia, Spain. There's way more restaurants here to see, so make sure you subscribe and get notified for the upcoming videos. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. And if you want to support me more, check out my Instagram and my Patreon link that are listed below. Bye!